Hi there and welcome to this instruction video about an update of our recent developed DD scripts add-on for Blender. This is version 1.2, so if you press N, make sure that this DD scripts tab says 1.2. If you don't have this tab or it says 1.1 or 1.0, you have an older build. Make sure you've downloaded the file, go to preferences, make sure that you delete the older build first, so look for the file, remove, OK, then go into your new file, install add-on, enable it by ticking the box, and there it pops up here on the right. We've done three updates. The first one is mainly a bug fix. The designer didn't like objects with special characters or empty spaces in the name, so if the name of this cube included a dot for instance and you would have exported this object to touch designer so a text that paste it and it's currently fixed now but if i put the dot back into the name inside the script let's see where it is q1 I put a dot in here and if i run this script it would give an error and that's because Tushyana doesn't like dots inside names. So if we remove that one and we run it again, there is the SOP again. So in the script, I've made sure that dots and empty spaces will be replaced with a dash or an underscore. The second update is pretty excited. If you have a material applied to this cube, let's add in a couple of textures. The earlier build needed to have all these textures connected immediately into the roughness. So this normal map would give an error, but yeah, you probably would have something in between, like an invert for the roughness, a normal map that's usually always the case with this normal map texture. But the reason or the earlier build would demand that you have put this one immediately, otherwise the script wouldn't work. We fix that. Now it will just go up to the chain and stop at the point where a texture is. So select the object, select the material, blend to PBR mat, go to the designer, text that, paste it, and run it. And there are all your textures connected to a PBR mat. Of course, the invert node isn't copied along. That's currently not supported with this version of TD scripts. Might be in the future, but for now we have to edit yourself. The last update is pretty excited. It involves exporting keyframed animated cameras. So if I would animate this camera, put a keyframe in here, put one up here, into view mode, into walk navigation mode, put it somewhere else. Let's say somewhere up here, put another keyframe, 80 frames, set this one to 80 frames. And if you look at it from the top, you would see that the camera is going to follow this path. Now select the camera, camera positions, go to touch designer, text that paste the script, run it, and you see that the script converted this camera path into channels. And if I'm going to split this one, set this one into geometry view, and look from the top, you see that the camera is following exactly the same path. Let's see, put this one in 160. And there is your animated camera copied from Blender into Touch Designer. Hopefully this add-on will help you transitioning assets from Blender into Touch Designer. Feel free to suggest any requested updates or bug fixes and we'll catch up next time.